oscillations. Periodic motion and non-periodic motion. The motion of a system as a function of time can be classified as periodic and non-periodic. Vibratory or oscillatory motion. If a body in a periodic motion moves back and forth about a fixed point, then the body is said to possess vibratory or oscillatory motion. The motion of a pendulum, the oscillations of a vibrating tuning fork, the oscillations of a mass hanging from a spring are periodic as well as oscillatory. Simple harmonic motion or SHM. Simple harmonic motion is a motion which is necessarily periodic and oscillatory about a fixed mean position such that the restoring force is always proportional to the displacement at that instant and is directed towards the mean position. Examples of simple harmonic motion Pendulum of a wall clock Molecules of a solid Prongs of a vibrating tuning fork Freely suspended bar magnet displaced from its north-south direction Mass attached to a spring when compressed or stretched executes simple harmonic motion Charges, voltage and current also execute simple harmonic motion under suitable conditions. Conditions for simple harmonic motion to occur A vibrating object executes simple harmonic motion only if the net restoring force, Fr, along the direction of motion is proportional to the displacement x and is in the opposite direction, that is, fr is equal to minus kx. Sinusoidal nature of simple harmonic motion in the case of a simple harmonic oscillator, the displacement as a function of time follows a sine or cosine curve. That is, harmonic motion is sinusoidal. The general solution can be written as x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi, where a is the amplitude, phi is the phase angle, and omega is the angular frequency. Simple harmonic motion related terms Linear velocity Linear velocity of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is obtained by differentiating the equation x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi Therefore, linear velocity is given by the equation v is equal to dx by dt, which is equal to minus omega a sine omega t plus phi. Acceleration The acceleration of a particle Executing simple harmonic motion is given by the equation because x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi, we can express acceleration as a is equal to minus omega squared x.
the block spring system and simple harmonic motion the block spring system shown here is an example of a simple harmonic oscillator for the block spring system the restoring force is f is equal to minus kx the period of vibration of a mass m at the end of an ideal massless spring is given by the equation and its frequency is given by the equation kinetic energy of a block spring system kinetic energy of a block spring system is given by the equation the expression for kinetic energy in terms of spring constant is potential energy of a block spring system potential energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is given by the equation mechanical energy of a block spring system The total mechanical energy of a block spring system is the sum of the elastic potential and kinetic energies of the system. That is, the total mechanical energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is a constant and is proportional to the square of the amplitude. graphical representation of the total energy the total mechanical energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is always a constant displayed here are the plots of the kinetic and potential energies versus time and displacement for a simple harmonic oscillator with phi is equal to 0 observe that u is small when k is large and vice versa simple harmonic oscillator and simple pendulum the motion of a simple harmonic oscillator can be compared to that of a simple pendulum the figure illustrates the position velocity acceleration kinetic energy and the potential energy of the block spring system for one full period of the motion simple pendulum a simple pendulum consists of a bob of mass m suspended by a light string of length l that is fixed at the upper end the motion occurs in the vertical plane and is driven by the force of gravity the motion of a simple pendulum is simple harmonic for small amplitudes of oscillation that is the angle theta is very small equation of motion for a simple pendulum is This equation holds good only if theta is very small. Angular frequency and time period of a simple pendulum. The equations for angular frequency and time period of motion for a simple pendulum are given here. simple harmonic motion and uniform motion 
simple harmonic motion along a straight line can be represented by the projection of a uniform circular motion along a diameter of a reference circle this illustration will help you understand the relation between uniform circular motion and simple harmonic motion here the projection of the point p is along the x axis similarly projection of point p along the y axis also exhibits simple harmonic motion therefore uniform circular motion can be considered as a combination of two simple harmonic motions one along x axis and one along the y axis with the two differing in phase by 90 degrees free oscillation forced oscillation and resonant vibration damped harmonic oscillation the amplitude of any real oscillating spring or swinging pendulum slowly decreases in time until the oscillations stop that is the oscillations are damped the damping is generally due to the resistance of air and due to the internal friction within the oscillating pendulum the energy is lost as thermal energy and this loss of energy decreases the amplitude of the oscillation this type of motion is called damped harmonic motion the equation of motion for damped harmonic motion is The displacement of the oscillator is given by this equation where a alpha and omega prime are constants. 